thanks, ladies and gentlemen, for coming. Um, just, just to start the media conference, Corey will, will make a statement. Okay, he'll just uh, say a few words. Good afternoon. Um, I'd just like to set the record straight about a, a few things. Um, first of all, we were married um, October 21st, 2011, in Barroi, Leno del Norte, in the Philippines. Here's one of our wedding pictures. Um, I'd like to just take a second to, to let you guys know that what was taken from me was not just my wife, my life, but was also our child. My wife was eight weeks pregnant at the time when, when she was taken. And um, I'd like to urge the public anything they know, anything, anything at all, to come forward to get this guy. Because her family, my family, we want justice for my Joanne. And also that when this is over, we'll be taking Joanne home back to the Philippines when the body's released. As far as the investigation goes, um, we still have a large number of police, um, both in, well, investigators, uh, intelligence officers and forensic officers still attached to the investigation. Uh, we have received a large amount of information from the public and we would encourage the, the public to continue providing information to us. Uh, there are still a, a number of um, appeals that we would still like to make in order to help us fill some of the gaps in the investigation so far. Uh, we, we would like any person who was actually travelling Mays Avenue and or Leichhardt Street um, on that Tuesday night, the 21st of May, between 7.30pm and 9pm to come forward and contact the police. So that's just whether they, whether they saw anything or not, any, any person who was just travelling Mays Avenue and Leichhardt Street between 7.30pm and 9pm on Tuesday the 21st of May, we would like them to contact police. Um, similarly, anybody who um, just saw anybody travelling those streets between that time. So they may have been in houses uh, and seen people travelling along those streets. Um, we would like them to come forward. Um, we would also, we're still keen on hearing from anybody who may have been in the vicinity of um, Mays Park. Again, on that evening, Tuesday the 21st of May, from 7.30pm onwards. Now, as I say, we have had a good response from the public. We've had lots of information come in through Crime Stoppers, but uh, we are still seeking more information in order just to fill some extra gaps. Did your work ever not at 9 um, I don't believe that was a regular shift. Have you tracked down the man in the yellow jumper? Can you tell us how that's going? Yes, we have. Um, we've, we've located or identified that person today, actually. Yeah. Is he a suspect? Um, he's, he's not a suspect. He's, he's currently uh, being spoken to as, as we speak now. He's, uh, he's been located today. So can you tell us what you've um, spoken to him about? No, he's currently being spoken to now. Did he come forward at the same court? Um, he was located this morning uh, and he, he attended the police station. When you say travelling on Leichhardt Street, are you after people not only walking but driving? Yes. Yes, anybody who travelled along those streets between those times who would like to speak to them, just, uh, just to give us the opportunity of finding out, finding out exactly what, they've, what they may have seen at different times. Um, and it just helps us to uh, eliminate uh, certain people that, uh, that we may have identified during the investigation as well. Do you believe it's just one person who could have done this or someone actually a group or...? Uh, we're, we're not speculating on that at this stage, we're just continuing the investigation. Do you believe they were... Once again, we, we don't wish to speculate. It's, uh, we hopefully the, the investigation will determine that in due course. Have, as part of um, the standard procedure, have you looked at sex offenders in the area? Have you registered sex offenders in the area? It's a part of the normal investigation, yes. And have you not come in there No, I don't wish to talk about that at this point in time. Okay. You don't happen to know what time is studying, do you? Uh, hairdressing. Okay. Thanks very much. Do you, do you believe at all uh, that's a degree of planning?
might have gone into this attack, or was it more something opportunistic? Or? Well, well, once again, that's mere speculation again. You know, we, we would prefer to wait until we can um, ascertain the facts through the investigation. And, um, and uh, again, we would seek assistance from the public in relation to those issues I've spoken about just to help us. What's your message for the alleged killer? Well, I'm sure the alleged killer is probably not going to listen to anything I'm saying, but, um, but obviously uh, we have a, a large task force of investigators out there at the moment, uh, including our forensic people, including our, um, our intelligence officers, and we are coming after him. It's as simple as that. Uh, it's just a matter of time. And has the post mortem been or um, No, I don't wish to discuss anything in relation to the actual scene. Uh, look, he's, uh, he is somebody that's been known, known to police in the past, but as I say, he's just been spoken to at the moment by the police. So. How many officers do you have on the case? Uh, we would have probably um, in excess of 40 per day. Yep. And how old is that man in the old jungle? Uh, no, I don't know, actually. Um, I'm, I'm not aware of his address at this point. As I say, he's, he's just been located this morning. He's being interviewed now. Yep. And the Post-mortem has been completed. Yep. No, no. I don't wish to. I don't wish to discuss any of the operational issues. So.